Hey Mustangs, welcome to this Thursday edition of the Daily Update. I'm Malia Masumoto. Let's get to the news. An entirely civilian crew launches into space. That story tops today's Mustang Minute. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is finally on its mission, taking off Wednesday night. This marks the start of a three-day flight devoted to raising money for St. Jude's research. Billionaire Jared Isaacman is chartering the privately funded non-government mission. This is the first time a space mission entirely made up of civilians has gone into space. The United States, Australia and the UK are taking steps to strengthen their partnership. President Biden announced the U.S.'s new effort to help Australia acquire nuclear-powered submarines. This announcement was part of a trilateral partnership called AUKUS that the country's leaders revealed on Wednesday. Biden said that the partnership is necessary to invest in their alliances and help them to better address any future threats. The Mustangs are off to a hot start after two home game wins. They're on the road to Louisiana Tech this weekend. SMU TV's Peter Warner joins us now with a look at the Mustangs' progress. Peter? Well, Malia, the Mustangs are looking to start the season 3-0 for a third consecutive season. The first week, they beat Abilene Christian handedly, 56-9, and next week took down rival North Texas, 35-12. There's one name you got to remember this season, and it's the new quarterback transfer, Tanner Mordecai. He currently leads all FBS quarterbacks with 11 touchdowns. Now, Louisiana Tech is so far 1-1 one one on the season. They started against a very good Mississippi State team and fought till the end and nearly completed the upset. The next week, though, they barely edged past a mid-tier FCS team. This weekend, ESPN Football Power Index gives the Mustangs an 81% chance to win, and Caesars Sportsbook has the SMU Mustangs at minus 12.5. The game kicks off at 2.30 this Saturday on CBS Sports Network. For SMU TV, I'm Peter Warner. Thanks, Peter, for that report. And that's your Mustang Minute. So uh, I played in high school. Um, I didn't want to play in college uh, too serious, so I wanted to come play a relaxed version, still competitive, travel a little bit, and just uh, meet a bunch of good guys and have a good time. You know, it was a great way to, you know, just get out of schoolwork and uh, refresh myself before I go back to my studies every Tuesdays and Thursdays and the weekends, come support our games. Each player has to go to practice two to three times a week. Um, we have tournaments basically weekly where we play um, an opposite club uh, for three games, a doubleheader on Saturday and then uh, one game on Sunday. You know, you can reach out to our uh, wonderful president, Holden Maney, SMU Clubs and Organizations.com. To learn more about the SMU Club baseball team, visit SMU Campus Labs or follow them on social media. As if they couldn't get any better, you'll have one more choice next year as the Girl Scouts will be offering a new cookie flavor. The new cookie is called Adventurefuls. It's a combination of a chocolatey brownie with caramel flavored cream and a hint of sea salt inside. The name depicts the life of a Girl Scout who has a taste for adventure. There is sure to be an adventure in every bite of this new cookie, which will join the star-studded lineup of Thin Mints and Samoas in 2022. In case you're wondering, Girl Scout cookie season is held nationally from January through April. Well, that's all we have for you, Mustangs. Remember, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash SMU television and follow us on Twitter at SMU TV. If you have any story ideas, shoot us an email, smutv at smu.edu. Thanks for watching this Thursday edition of The Daily Update. Tune in next week for more news from the Hilltop. Until then, have a great day and pony up. SMU TV and the Division of Journalism want to thank our underwriters, North Park Center in Dallas, Javier's Gourmet Mexicano on Cole Avenue, and Advance ER off West Lovers Lane. We appreciate your support of student media.